it's Paul here and today I want to share with you a free plugin that puts images in your website's navigation bar. So we're talking about these little icons that we've got up here. Now just look how much better the navigation bar looks with an image in there than just the plain old boring text that you would normally get. Now the beauty of these eyes is that we are all image driven. So an image that describes what a page in your navigation bar is all about will encourage people to click on it more. So it will get people to read more of your content. And if there's an affiliate link in it or a link to one of the products that you've created yourself, you'll get more people to see it. And that's got to be good. And this little plugin lets you do that. So we've got these front end images here. Now just watch this. What this plugin also allows you to do is to change the image when you hover over it as well. How nice is that? That's really good. So this is very, very simple. It's totally free. It takes about five minutes to set it up. So this is how you do it. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've installed an elegant themes theme on the J4M WordPress test site, just so you've got something to look at. So let's go to the back end and set this little plugin up. So Here's the back end. Now, here's the um, plugin here. It's called me uh, Menu Image, as you can see. Quite easy to get to. All you need to do is go to the Plugins tab in your dashboard and then click on Add New. I'll put a link to it as well at the bottom so you can just click to it from there if you wanted to. So, all we're going to do then is just type in here Menu Image and hit Enter. And it will be the first one that you see when it comes up. There we go. This is it just here. Now, as you can see, I've already installed it. Um, and once you've done it, it's very, very simple to set up. So this is how you do it. So it, because it affects your menus, um, you're going to go to appearance and then menus. So make sure you've got your pages set up how you want them, first of all. Now, the way that you do it is open up one of the pages here and then the plugins setup is in these boxes just under here. Now as you can see I've already put the home page icon on already in there. Um, but I could set a hover over image as well if I wanted to. Um, and you can do that for any or all of them. Now as you see I've already installed them. Um, so there's the next one for the About Us page and then there's the diet tips one. Well perhaps having a burger is not the best one for a diet tips. So let's change that. So let me show you how easy it is to get these installed. So let me just remove that for now. So it comes in its naked form looking like that. So it's going to ask you to set an image. So what you do is click set image. Now as you can see I've already got some already set in the image gallery. Um, so let's have, let's find another one. So you'll need some icons. So let's just say what was it, it was for uh, the burger wasn't it? So let's just say it's a diet tips file or something like that. So let's oh, there's the burger one. Let's just change it uh, just for argument's sake just for now for that one. Um, so what I'm going to do is drag it into the media file and then click select and it will appear here. There we go. Now you can change the size of these icons as well. With this little drop down menu here. There's quite a lot that you can actually do. But so you've got a choice of 24 by 24, 36 by 36 or 48 by 48. So whatever size text you've got on your menu you kind of want to match the image size now I know it's quite small so 24 by 24 is good for this um, you can set a hover over image as well so actually let's put that burger one back in there just for fun and then we select that there so that image will now go from this file image to the burger image when someone hovers over it and you simply then click save menu and that's how easy it is you can literally put whatever image that you want in there. Now, obviously I've got a ton of icons that I can choose from. If you don't have any icons, you can perhaps look on clip art or to go to uh, Creative Commons on Google Images. But also, if you read my review on the Passive Print System, I've listed a load of uh, free sites that you can go and get some free images from. So um, you're bound to find a source of icons in and amongst those. So by all means, go and have a look at the Passive Print System review so you can get that list. Um, so now, so the other thing I want to show you just very briefly as well before we move on is you can change the position of the icon. So you can hide it. You can have it above the title or below it or before it or after it. Uh, so you can select wherever you want the image to appear in the navigation bar itself. So it's already set. So let me just click Save Menu again. And now if we pop back across to the front end, let me just refresh this page. So there we go. We've changed the Diet Tips one over to the file. And when you hover over it, it changes back to the bow. Now look how nice is that? I mean, that's really good. It's really appealing. It's going to make people want to click on it. 
Uh, oh, sorry about that. There's the pop-up that I installed before. So let me just give it a minute, a second. Um, so it's going to make people click on the content on your website. And that's a great thing. So that's it for today. Um, this is Paul Brooks. I hope you found this useful. And thanks for watching.